So, hello there, and today we're going to be doing another benchmark video because I did a benchmark video with my 2060 Super in ASA, but now I have fully invested in getting a 3090, and 3090 is running ASA at the moment. And you can see at the settings that I'm currently running it at, I don't know why it changed them at some point to something different. We're not getting 60 FPS. I was at my other settings, but for some reason, but we'll go through settings in this video. This is actually at 1440p with kind of like epic high medium it's kind of more high all of these are turned down because they're absolute fps killers and even on a 3090 i would not recommend you turn them on but we're probably just going to start we're going to go 1440p 1080p pretty much runs the same we'll do 1080p as well we're not just going to do 1440 but still if like for a 3090 you probably not want to be running at 1080p considering still how expensive these cars are they're like 600 quid still in today's money or at least that's how much i bought mine for and right now that that is applied we can see the low settings actually apart from the v distance as you can see the character is pretty mangled here it's running pretty well on the low settings and the low settings don't look awful in this game there is actually still quite a lot of of detail in there the main thing really is obviously running a 50% resolution scale which is the best this is still 1440p by the way so 1080 is going to run better if i just quickly change that down to to 1080 1920 by 1080 i've got my fps cap to 60 by the way but you can obviously check through like utilizations of everything to get it all right to where you you want it of course as you see the fps isn't going to change but because we've got it capped the dpu utilization is about the same as well and now the game does look significantly worse if you are actually running at that really low resolution scale it's partly why like i said you don't really need to do a whole lot of 1080p in this game i should really change my resolution first because if you're on a, a, a 3090 albeit like the frame generation is kind of an absolute game changer for ASA overall because of just of just how it works like frame generation really does make a huge difference in this game so yeah we're back at 1440 again it looks a lot more fresh than 1080 obviously and on a on a 39 you'd expect it frame generation is an absolute safety though obviously you don't have it because you want to use the card but frame generation really does I might just enable Combat I might actually run it on the board. Not obviously with this resolution scale, which is really blurry. At the moment, even at 1440p. And like obviously you could run it at 4K and all of that. I'm not really gonna be testing 4K though because I don't I don't think it's worth it. But if I was to change this thing. My setting changes for low settings would be to put that resolution scale up to 100%. Sometimes it doesn't like to apply that, so we'll, we'll do it again. If it hasn't, no, it has. So now it's applied that. You can see the frame rate is in the 50s. And I don't really know why, because our GPU utilization is at 23%. I'm not sure how accurate that actually is though, if I look at this, what's, yeah my G, the GPU is maxed out, that's, that's wrong, but yes, the, the GPU is maxed out of these settings, I will have to change it a little bit, but as you can see, that's not great, <laughs> low settings, I know we don't have DLSS on or anything like that at the moment, we will do that, it's not great, and also the other change which I would have to make just to make this game actually look decent is put view distance on high and then the game is running in the high 40s and it will drop further when you get into the air and all of that. Is that trying to do that? No. There's one over here I think. Yeah. Like when you get up into the air it will get even worse. Like even looking at the sky doesn't really help your frame rate. You can do the R.volumetric cloud things as well actually, but 
like high 30s on a 3090. We're not at 23% GP utilization though, of course. Like, it's so intensive. If we actually... If we turn those off. Like, we get like 5 FPS back. There's obviously volumetric fog as well, I'll just turn that off. Got volumetric fog. Zero. That's off as well now. I, I shouldn't really be having to do this on a 3090. But this is just the state of ASA. And obviously we don't have DLSS on at the moment, so and go in and turn DLSS on. There's not really a point of anything but performance at 1440p. I found from my testing and you can see we're still not at 60 FPS. We will be on the ground at this stage, but we've also at this point got all the lighting turned off and things like that. And it, it really, it shouldn't be the way that you have to run this. You can see it's only those three on high and then everything else is on low. And I would want fluid interaction and I would want light shafts, but not bloom. I'm not really fan of bloom and you have to you have to restart the game for the fluid interaction to work of, of course. but still it is madly intensive this game as you can see that the fluid interaction is not working whatsoever but if i briefly exit to main menu and then go back in it should it should all work now for that and the reason why i'm not enabling any like the foliage moving Things, it's so intensive. It just, I'm not sure if it's like, my, my CPU or my GPU, but it's, it doesn't behave. As you can see on the ground, we are getting 60 frames per second now, but we do have those clouds and fog disabled. And it, it just doesn't, if I just put those back. So now the volumetric clouds are back in. And now you can see we're not at 60 anymore, and I also need to put the fog in. There we go. The fog's in as well now. And, yeah, you can see now the game has its atmosphere back, but it's still... It still just... it doesn't run great, particularly. I could turn it down to 1080, but that doesn't actually do all too much. Textures we can also just put on Epic. We've got 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It's not really going to make a whole lot of difference. Foliage quality, like I know it might not be the best thing to do, but you can always just turn that down to low. It's not it's not gonna make the biggest difference in terms of everything. In terms of actually playing this game well. But to think that like on a 3090 this game is, is struggling and now we are getting 60 FPS. Let me check our GPU utilization. We're still maxed out on the GPU, 33% on my 34% on my CPU. And you can see we're barely using any VRAM. 9 gigs of the stuff, so you, on an 8 gig card you can't run with epic textures just don't, you don't have enough VRAM for it but like if I went to ultra performance and then then the game is starting to not look very great it's just really fuzzy and DLSS barely does anything in this game which is quite surprising actually like DLSS you would think it would do loads in this game but it doesn't really do anything and now that the game just looks really bad so not on balance chuck it on performance of 1440p it's kind of a shame really I could obviously turn off the shadows not global illumination quality that would actually make quite a big difference turn off the shadows and then the game looks like this and now I'm getting 60 FPS and my GPU still says 100% utilization yet because we're not even getting 60 it's I don't really know what to say. Like, I obviously I've cut the FPS to 60, expecting the 60 experience. The 60 experience is still not what you get in ASA on a 1390, which it's it's insane really, and it does a lot better than the 2060 Super. But because it doesn't have that have frame generation feature, which if it was, if it had it, I could push the settings probably well up to high and still get over 60 frames per second. I know maybe it doesn't look the best in this game, still if we had that on 30 series cards, because these cards are very, very capable. Like a 3090, I know it's about 4 years old now, but it's got 24 gigs of VRAM and it's the, the second best card out of the 30 series, obviously because 
the downtown GTI exists, but with 1390 Ti, it would be a similar situation. We'd just be getting a couple of FPS more. It's not really a lot more performant of a card, and it's. I don't really know what to say about ASA at the moment because those of you are saying, why am I not making ASA content? And this is kind of the reason why I'm not making ASA content because it's, it's such an intensive game and even I've, I've got 3090 now like running it like this it still it doesn't look how I want it to look and it doesn't really run how I uh, how I want it to look and although I did a brief series on my Twitch first thing that ended, and then obviously this like, recording B-roll just doesn't really look good like look at those clouds over there I mean, can't really do all too much about that and that ring around the map it's just it's full of so many bugs and there's just so many things wrong with ASA that I just can't I don't I don't want to actually play this game really like I'm not I'm not enjoying my experience because a normal arc I know it's significantly less intensive I can crank those settings right up to epic at 1440p and play the game with 60 plus FPS with really nice visuals and even if I turn off DLSS and all of that with the TAA on this game it looks quite blurry and there's just there's so many kind of like ghosting and artifact effects it it doesn't it doesn't really look that nice although it's a really nice looking game overall like you can say but even if I'd like turn those shadows off that gives us a lot more FPS putting them back on you can see it makes such a huge difference and like yeah you could say well this is still a really great experience for 3090 now we're touching 60 at points and it's not like I'm never going to make any ASA content but it's just it's kind of a huge shame really that this is how ASA is running obviously it's just going to run 60 inside of a base there's nothing to say it won't and um, GPU utilization should be that 100% isn't accurate Why all of them just aren't being accurate but you will get 60 in a place like this. I don't know why it can't measure my GPU utilization. But if you're paying £600 for a GPU, this really shouldn't be the experience that you're getting in, in 2024 out of ASA. Like, they said this game was going to run really well and it was going to run so much better than the, the previous game. And I was looking forward to a version of ARC that I could run fully at 60 FPS because the 2060 Super. Just couldn't do that. It couldn't really run original arc at the settings that I wanted at 60 frames per second, and at the settings that I was running it at, it still drops in places like Gen 1 and Gen 2. Obviously, it's 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 a different kind of game altogether. But like, still, if I I'm just gonna briefly hop over normal arc to just show you what I'm talking about. Right. So now we're in Gen 2, and although. Yep, still it's not a flawless experience, also I don't know what's happened to the GPU utilisation and clock and memory clock and temperature. I, I, they're definitely not all that, but uh, they've decided to bug out. But the GPU utilisation, if you couldn't tell, is already at 100% because we're not getting 60 FPS because I've also cut this game to 60. But the thing is, we're running this game at max settings. On Gen 2, on the islands, this thing runs flawlessly at like around 80 to 90 FPS at max settings, and on ASA at low settings, at the same resolution that we're running at with DLSS, so we're actually running at a lower resolution, we were getting a lower frame rate on a much less intensive map. So when Gen 2 comes out on ASA, it's going to be so, so intensive, you practically will just need like a 4090 or something to run ASA somewhat properly and still even running ASA on epic settings is it's just a no-go at 60 FPS and I kind of know like original ARP was like this as well but still like I know ARP is still full of stutters and all of that but like this game kind of it runs as it should now really when you think of it creative modes being a bit weird with tech things but like yeah I know it's not a flawless 60 but it feels smooth enough to me if ASA ran like this, I'm maybe not asking for the highest settings. Maybe at like medium or high, if it ran like this on a 3090, because most people out there do not have 3090s. Having a 3090 is very much a privilege, and most people have like 1650 supers or like maybe an RX 580 or something like that. Those GPUs, like compared to the 3090, they're, they're puny, but like considering that you're releasing new games that practically 
Like, ASA recommends a 3080, which is, is kind of insane. Like, it's maybe not as intensive as, as Portal RTX, but still, that does seem a little bit insane that that's the requirements. But, like, Gen 2 Arc, it runs perfectly fine, and I have so much lenience. Everything is cranked to epic at 1440, and obviously this isn't quite maxed out, but that would only be a couple of FPS anyway. You can turn that view distance down and you can get significantly more FPS because epic view distance is really intense. And you can turn the shadows down a bit because, you know, that, that makes actually quite a huge difference in art. And it kind of does an ASA. The way they could kind of fix ASA, obviously they'll never do this. They could have frame generation for 30 and 20 series GPUs. That would never happen though. Or add AMD's frame generation on because that's in the new Avatar game. So why isn't it in the new art game? And also give some FSR in that game as well. Because loads of people, they don't have GPUs that can do DLSS. Give them options for FSR and also FSR's frame generation. So that you can enable FSR in an FSR's frame generation and actually get a good playable frame rate in the game. And then NVIDIA doesn't have to do their thing where they have to allow frame generation for 30 series GPUs because that will never happen that's that's what they want you to the bike to buy into the 40 series for obviously none of that needs to come to this version of arc because practically this version of arc is is pretty like it's not dead like half of the arc player base is still playing it because obviously loads of people are playing on xbox ones and ps4s and asa is not on there asa is also still quite expensive and ASA, especially for PC players, just isn't running very well, so no one's, no one's really getting it. On consoles, it runs pretty decently, though, I've heard from all the experiences. Well, massive game freeze. And the game crashed. Well, that is that is kind of arc, isn't it? We were pushing it at the, the max settings, but that's all I have to say for this video. Do you think the 39's performance was actually as it should be for arc? Um, I don't think it really was, but, you know... That's 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 just the way of arc I guess.